And let's talk about that, that reserved sort of nature. It, public displays of affection. Uh, not very often. Not the real ones. Even holding hands. Uh, maybe the, them, maybe the little them. girls. Maybe the young girls. Mm -hmm. I don't but know. But we're talking about women. We're talking about real serious yeah. women here. That want to marry and have No, they're not family. big on public displays of Even affection. Even hand holding. Some of them <laughs> not, uh, yeah. don't like to no. hold hands in public. Definitely not kissing in public. I've had very it, few yeah. uh, mature, uh, real women mm -hmm. that uh, really wanted to have that kind of a, of a public display. I mean, they, a little peck on the cheek or, you know, they'll squeeze you sometimes like that or, or just hold yeah. your hand like this, you know. Yeah. But as far as whole hand, hand, hand holding like this or big long kisses in public, nah. No. no, no. Don't even try it. No. But get them, get them private. <laughs> Whoa. Changes the story, doesn't it's it? It's all different Very world. Very affectionate. Hugely different world. They're about, yeah. would you agree, they're about pleasing their man they, they, in every way. They love it. Uh, it's satisfying to them mm -hmm. to make you happy. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they want you to make them happy, mm -hmm. and in turn, they will make you very happy. Yeah. If, you, uh, if you fulfill their needs, they want to rock our world, don't they? They do. They do, <laughs> and they can. <laughs> they can. They're, they, they're wonderful women. They're wonderful. And they're they, women they, in the greatest, in the best sense of the word. In it's the very worth best. the journey, isn't it, would you say? It is. It like, is. would you change? Uh, you're still on your quest I'm to find a good it. wife in the Ukraine. But the journey's been up and down, mm -hmm. and I've had uh, some good relationships that, uh, for sometimes my fault, sometimes theirs, it, it just didn't work out long term. Mm -hmm. You know, that's just kind of life. I when you're trying to do everything on your own without. No, were uh, these women appropriately close to your age? Yeah, they were closer to my age. Yeah. Most of them were within 20 years, uh, mm -hmm. give or take, of my age. And, uh, and those they, relationships didn't work out? Uh, they worked out uh, f to a certain point, and then we both realized that it just was not going to work out long term. Mm -hmm. And most of the time we, uh, we separated uh, happily. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, building the relationships, uh, uh, they were just uh, absolutely wonderful women, mm -hmm. absolutely wonderful. I kick myself many times for not, you know, jumping in and, and marrying, or at least asking them to, if they'd marry me anyway, mm -hmm. even when I knew it wasn't right. <laughs> so what I'm not. When, when you knew it wasn't right. Well, <clears throat> wasn't you know, right. sometimes you, uh, you work into a relationship, you know, and you do it uh, tentatively because mm -hmm. you're not sure. So you kind of start working a relationship out together. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it can go really good for a while, and then pretty soon there are conflicts. Uh, and if you can't work those conflicts out, whether it's a language barrier or a cultural conflict barrier, or maybe different uh, goals in life. Maybe you find out that uh, you're both going in different directions. There's no compatibility. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, uh, so soon, pretty soon, it's you start, even in a, uh, six months, you start kind of... You know, you see that it's drifting apart. She sees it. She'll mm -hmm. see it before you do. Because mm -hmm. it's still a, a, it's a real woman and a real This is real. It's not a male order bride. It is definitely not. This is real world. And These women, it, yeah. uh, they don't want to flee Ukraine. Do yeah. The good yeah. ones. They don't want to flee Ukraine. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. No. no. I mean, um, they, as we said, they need to trust you first. Absolutely. And then they might be willing to relocate, to immigrate to your country. But it's not like we think when we're back home watching all the videos that these women will do anything for a ticket out of the Ukraine. Uh, these women will do anything to latch on to a guy with money that can provide. That's not the case at all. Right? And there's some like that, I'm sure. But the majority of these women that are no, serious... No, I'm talking about the good ones. Yeah, the yeah, the good ones. ones. Uh, uh, the basket of scammers. Yeah, we'll just uh, leave those aside. Yeah, we're not talking about... I'm talking about yeah. the, the serious women that are right. looking, which... In your experience, would you say, let me ask you that question, uh, on the dating sites, the marriage agency mm. sites, how many do you think are serious, the basket of serious women genuinely looking to fall in love and marry you versus the basket of scammers? What's that proportion, do you think? And, and I know it's a guess, but it's a guess a lot of experience. So yeah, and I've talked to I've talked to uh, new, numerous people in the industry mm -hmm. that I know that were uh, Plus, in the, at one time. You've met a lot of Western men clients here yes, in your yes, time yes. in Ukraine. Uh, less than ten percent are are serious. Less than ten percent. So ninety percent. I'd say ninety percent are not serious and or 
in that other basket. In that other basket of not serious and or false intentions, mm -hmm. maybe scammers, mm -hmm. all in that basket. Mm -hmm. So when you just come over here willy nilly style on your own, you're looking at 90% probability of it ending up in a happy, unhappy rather ending. Yes, I agree with that. It's been my experience. I, I would say that uh, the women that I have met uh, through these agencies that I have met, 90% uh, of them were either false or just not indifferent, not serious. Mm -hmm. It was not what they really wanted. Maybe, Some hidden agenda. Yeah, they had a hidden agenda. Maybe they were being paid to meet me. Mm -hmm. But you can tell. You, you can, can tell feel it in the right body off language that. If they're into you or not. That's instantly. You know whether they're serious or not. Wow. So I see how your advice, you've got to find a, a good agency yes. that vets out the women, personal interviews, and have some way of knowing, uh, some matchmaker that knows that they're real, and then, and then matches you with the lady. I agree. That would stack your deck for success. Big time. Mm -hmm. Because, as I said, if 90% of the women on there are not serious, only 10%, and that could be a big, I, I might be being very generous in that. It with may the 10%? Be, yeah, I was probably being very generous. So if there are only 10% of those people on there, what is your chances of connecting with one of those and actually building a relationship even if they are serious? Mm -hmm. Very because, small. So, so let me just clarify, in this 10 years that you've been mm -hmm. looking for love, looking for a good wife in the Ukraine, you've never uh, been able to find an agency that vets their ladies and you know they're good quality, serious ladies. You've not look to you gone that route. You've gone more the letter writing yeah. and the do-it-yourself route. Yes, yeah, I have. And do you think and, that's and a big part of, of why you've been unsuccessful? I think so. Um, I would imagine that there are some people who are successful mm -hmm. with the letter writing agencies. Mm -hmm. It has not been well, it's my a billion career. dollar industry. I there mean, better be some successes. There's got to be some successes. <laughs> and so uh, I, I just, I have, am not, I've never uh, encountered a legitimate matchmaking service that vetted and uh, uh, helped match men's desires with women's desires and make sure they're both serious mm -hmm. people, not just players mm -hmm. in the An game. agency with it that was truly yeah. had the intention of, of right. creating unions and happy marriages. Well, you've yeah. got to remember, if that ag agency does exist, then every time they match them together, they lose a potential client. So letter writing. Right. So they don't really want that to take place. Now, the industry, now, uh, industry. Now, if you had a legitimate service that actually wanted to uh, make uh, connections, uh, they would be operating very differently than the letter writing industry. Uh, they would be uh, legitimate, they would, their successes would be their advertising, uh, and I believe that they would develop a, an honest business here. Ukraine. I agree with you. Art, I can't thank you enough for being so raw and real with us here today. My pleasure. I hope it helps. <laughs> it will. It will. Thank Good. you. And I'm going, who? Is this Natasha? Mm -hmm. And she said, back, she said, well, yes and no. And I'm going, oh, I don't know what's going on. Because now I'm getting yes confused. No. <laughs> she said, I need to tell you a truth. And I, I have to be very careful because I could lose my job mm -hmm. if you tell mm -hmm. what's going on. Mm -hmm. And I said, what's going on? You know, mm -hmm. I'm going like, I don't even know what's going on. Mm -hmm.